Hello, welcome everybody to World Religions Online Philosophy 15. I'm your professor, Andrea Diem, and this course is set up for you on Moodle, and this is what it looks like. Um, the course is an eight-week course, which means it usually is a 16-week course, so it's uh, presented as an accelerated short-term course, and it goes a little faster than a regular course, and so I wanted you to note that. And you'll see when you open up the course, you'll have some very important links here. You'll have the syllabus, which I wanted you to read through. I sent it out last week as an email to the class, um, early, but if you're just joining the class or haven't yet had an opportunity to read through it, make sure you read through the 10 links that I have there for the syllabus. And there they are. Each link is very important. And then the key dates for the course are there as well. So to note that, that's what the um, page there looks like. And you'll see that um, there's the introduction forum. So the first week of the term, actually the first couple days, if you can introduce yourself to your classmates and to myself, and then read other students' introductions and respond to three to five, maybe Five would be a good idea, but three to five um, introductions, responses. And there's a help forum. The help forum is for you to ask questions to me. And they're not so much academic questions. If they're academic questions, like questions about Hinduism or questions about Buddhism, they go into the classroom forum. But if it's more questions like a link doesn't work or how do you, f you know, I can't find something or how do I post something? or what is a pie post, or something along that line. That's what the help form is for. So it's more technical type questions. And you're welcome as a student to go in and answer those questions as well, but for sure I'll be checking that forum daily. So to communicate with me, I would first recommend the help forum. And uh, also another option is email, but help form is good because everybody gets to see your question. I get to respond and the whole class gets the value of that answer. Um, so help form, email, and also there is a virtual chat room, which is offered. It's optional because a lot of people have very busy lives and can't schedule in and out that particular hour, but um, just know that it's there and it's totally optional. And very often, um, just once in a while students go into it, but very often not. Okay, so we also have um, the classroom forum, and this is the main forum for the term. And it's the classroom forum that you go into throughout the week for the eight weeks together. And you'll come down here and to write a post, you just add a new discussion. And there's two main types of posts um, here for this forum. There's the essay post where there's a specific question in the lesson plan I ask you based on the reading and the films and your position on it. And your um, job to is to respond within the time we're covering that lesson plan. And it's called an essay post and it's about a page long. And there's also what's called a pie post. Now this gets a little confusing for students. So again, it's all explained to you in the syllabus under the post link. But a pie post stands for, it's an acronym for participation, interaction, and effort. So participation means you want to share with the class something about religion. It's not where in any way ever where one is discussing one's own religion and, and preaching to the class, but participation would be you found a really interesting article and you wanted to share that with us. And so you give us the link, but you also give us a little summary and a little uh, analysis or reflection on it as well. And it's you know not a long post, it's half a page. Um, or you have an interesting film you want to share. And oftentimes students share films in, in, as a pie post and they're really good. And I sometimes incorporate them into my curriculum. And so again, you share the link and then a little summary and then your analysis. Um, it could be an interactive post. And an, or I'm sorry, a participation post can also be like um, you want to raise an academic question for us to ponder or you want to ask a question about specific religion. And so an interactive or the I uh, part of the acronym, that stands for... Um, interacting with other classmates' essay posts, like you read, read their essay posts and you respond to them, you click reply and write a nice paragraph response back to them. And then E stands for um, effort or extra credit posts or whatever you want to refer that E to. But PI posts, it's, it's not following a specific question I'm asking. It's just interacting with the classmates, interacting with me on this forum. And you're asked to do that a minimum of once um, per lesson plan. And so you'll be doing 12 for the whole term, but very often students do much more than 12 and I give them a little extra credit for that. So that's a good way to boost your grade there. And again, any confusions you have, you can ask in the help form, but you can also first read the syllabus link on that. And then if you go down, you'll see that the lesson plans start um, from August 29 to September 5th. And it, it's really a little top heavy in the first week. And I apologize for that because I know you're just getting uh, used to the course, but um, I get the introduction material over with. And the introduction material is what is religious studies and how religions grow. It's not about any specific religion yet. And we start that uh, right away in um, lesson plan three on Hinduism on September 5th, September 6th, we start Hinduism. So the first week may seem a little intense because we cover two lesson plans this week. Um, but then 
when we get to lesson plan three and four, you actually have two weeks on those two lesson plans. Hinduism is one of the harder lesson plans for the turn, so I extend it out as long as I can to give you time to absorb the material and watch the films and so forth. And so let me let me walk you through this real quick and then walk you through uh, part one and part two. So the course is broken up into part one. And part one is introduction to religion and then all of the Eastern religions. And again, there's not time to cover every one of them, So, but we cover Hinduism and Jainism. Um, and Buddhism and Sikhism and a little bit of Eastern philosophy. So that constitutes, <coughs> I'm sorry, part one of the course. And then part two starts the Western religions and we cover Islam and Sufism, which is a mystical branch of Islam. And then Judaism and some biblical scholarship on the Hebrew scriptures and Christianity and biblical scholarship on the New Testament. And so that constitutes part two of the course. And so if you'll see um, part one of the course is the link for it is right here. Open that up, and it will walk you through um, what we're doing for each lesson plan. So, for for instance, for the first segment of the course, which is the first week, it's what for step by step what to do, and then the lesson plan one and lesson plan two, and then for segment two, which are these dates, which is actually two weeks long. It's Hinduism and Jainism, and you can say Jainism or Jainism, and then for segment three, which are these dates, which is. Um, Again, about a week. It's Buddhism and Sikhism, or Sikhism, but Sikhism is how you oftentimes say it. And there's the lesson plans there. Again, I don't have time for a full lesson plan on Chinese religion, so a little mini lecture, and that will give you a little background there. And um, that constitutes part one of the course. And just to look at what a lesson plan is like. So if you open it up, they all look the same. There's a professor's lecture. I have a mini lecture, three to five minutes, on each of the religions. And then I have my lecture notes that are very valuable, that offer kind of a, a summary of the material as well. The required reading is there. The films to watch are there. And the post question is there. And the post question always has two bullets, bullet one, bullet two. Think of it as half a page, half a page, so a full page to respond to that. And so um, altogether, approximate the time it would take you to complete these lesson plans. Students tell me it's fairly accurate. And it's approximately three hours for this lesson plan. And this course is being short term. Up here, I explained to you, it's supposed to be about 6.75 hours per week. And each lesson plan is about three hours. The only lesson plan that extends a little longer than that is Hinduism. And therefore, I give you extra time, like two weeks to work on Hinduism and Jainism. So we have lesson plan one and two. And I, this, the reading on this is about two hours. The reading on this is about an hour to an hour and a half. I mean, some students finish in 45 minutes. Um, so they're very reasonable to complete that within that week one. It's just you don't want to start week one next weekend. You want to really start it as soon as the course starts. So the course starts on August 29th. Okay. And uh, also, and then when you go to you Hinduism, know, is good Jainism, Buddhism, and Sikhism, okay, you'll see, again, I just wanted to show you, I just clicked on this randomly, um, so helpful you'll see that it follows the same format, and I give you, again, it's about three hours It's optional because a lot of people have very busy lives and lost to get a schedule in It's an ancient Indian symbol, and it means very nice things. Just know that it's there, and it's totally optional. Here we go. Very often. So that looks what part one looks like. Very often. And at the end of part one, I refer to as midterm time. And what is midterm time? Midterm time is a time for you for to collect all and the work that you've done for the first into um, four weeks of this that, term the week and for, the for you to submit to me all your post work and, write a, and a nice new package on the website and, and there's two your exam scores which I have access to on Moodle um, I just wanted to back of this copy forum. And there's the um, essay post where there's feedback specific responses questions where we can click on here and I ask you to answer on the reading of the films and position. They're very simple. And you can click on that to get six questions to answer. Respond and to send that to me at the end of time or cover that lesson plan, which is called an essay post. And it's about a page long. Actually, and there's also what's called a high post. Now, this gets a little confusing. And then you'll send me again the same. I'll explain to you in the syllabus. Under the post, same link. kind of concept. Pi post stands for an acronym eight, for which participation, will be part interaction, two, final material. So participation and means they you want to share with the class something um, about religion. It's not where in any way ever where but one is discussing one's adding own religion on or research teaching to the class. Research but project participation. When you just start it, you found um, a really you start it any time actually. But share that with sure. And so you give us the link. But you also give us a summary by analysis. You know, late September to make sure you that field trip. And course doesn't you know not a long post. It's half a page. Or you have an interesting film you want to share, and oftentimes students share films that, and as a pie post, and they're really good, and I sometimes incorporate them into my curriculum. 
So you go to science and, so, and again, you share the link and then I'll explain summary to you and your analysis. exams are about. Um, it could be okay. an interactive for every two and an, or I'm sorry, a participation, a participation post can also be like um, you want to raise an academic so question for us to ponder or you want to ask a question about um, specific religion. It's going to be three and objective so, tests for part and one. And interactive or the I's for part two. Uh, part of the acronym. Okay, so that stands for um, interacting with other classmates' plan. essay posts. Like yeah, you read, read their essay posts, posts and you respond to them. You click reply and write a research nice research paragraph response back to them. Research project and then E stands for um, the effort or extra credit posts or whatever you want to refer that E to. But PI posts, it's it's not following a specific question I'm asking. It's just interacting with the classmates, interacting with me on this forum. And you're asked to do that a minimum of once um, again, per lesson plan. And so you'll be doing 12 for the whole term, but very often students do much more than 12, and I give them a little extra credit for that. So that's a good way to boost your grade. Three of the big ones that students And again, any confusions you have, you can ask them help. Form, but you can also first read the syllabus link really on America. that. And then if you it's go down, you'll see that the lesson plans start um, from August 29th to September 5th. And, and it, it's really a little top-heavy in the first America. week, and I apologize and for that because I know you're just getting uh, used to the course, but um, I get the introduction material over with. And the introduction material is what is religious studies and how religions grow. It's not about any specific religion yet. And we start that uh, right away in um, lesson plan three on Hinduism on September 5th, September 6th. We start Hinduism. So the first week may seem a little intense because we cover two lesson plans this week, um, but then when we get to lesson plan three and four, you actually have two weeks on those two lesson plans. Hinduism is one of the harder lesson plans for the term, so I extend it out as long as I can to give you time to absorb the material and watch the films and so forth. And so let me let me walk you through this real quick and then walk you through uh, part one and part two. So the course is broken up into part one. Part one is introduction to religion and then all of the Eastern religions. And again, there's not time to cover every one of them, So, but we cover Hinduism and Jainism. Um, uh, utilize the help form first and, and Buddhism um, and Sikhism and a little bit of Eastern philosophy. So that constitutes, <coughs> I'm sorry, part one of the course. And then part two starts the Western religions and we cover Islam and Sufism, which is a mystical branch of Islam, and then Judaism and some biblical scholarship on the Hebrew scriptures and Christianity and biblical scholarship on the New Testament. And so that constitutes part two of the course. And so if you'll see um, part one of the course, is the link for it is right here. Open that up, and it will walk you through um, what we're doing for each lesson plan. So, for for instance, for the first segment of the course, which is the first week, it's what for step by step what to do, and then the lesson plan one and lesson plan two, and then for segment two, which are these dates, which is actually two weeks long. It's Hinduism and Jainism, and you can say Jainism or Jainism, and then for segment three, which are these dates, which is um, Again, about a week. It's Buddhism and Sikhism, or Sikhism, but Sikhism is how you oftentimes say it. And there's the lesson plans there. Again, I don't have time for a full lesson plan on Chinese religion, so a little mini lecture, and that will give you a little background there. And um, that constitutes part one of the course, and just to look at what a lesson plan is like. So if you open it up, they all look the same. There's a professor's lecture. I have a mini lecture, three to five minutes, on each of the religions. And then I have my lecture notes that are very valuable, that offer kind of a, a summary of the material as well. The required reading is there, the films to watch are there, and the post question is there. And the post question always has two bullets, bullet one, bullet two. Think of it as half a page, half a page, so a full page to respond to that. And so um, altogether, approximate the time it would take you to complete these lesson plans. Students tell me it's fairly accurate. And it's approximately three hours for this lesson plan. And this course is being short term, up here I explained to you, it's supposed to be about 6.75 hours per week. And each lesson plan is about three hours. The only lesson plan that extends a little longer than that is Hinduism. And therefore I give you extra time, like two weeks to work on Hinduism and Jainism. So we have lesson plan one and two. And I, this, the reading on this is about two hours. The reading on this is about an hour to an hour and a half. I mean, some students finish in 45 minutes. Um, so they're very reasonable to complete that within that week one. It's just you don't want to start week one next weekend. You want to really start it as soon as the course starts. So the course starts on August 29th. Okay. And then when you go to Hinduism and Jainism, Buddhism, and Sikhism, okay, you'll see, again, I just wanted to show you. I just clicked on this randomly. You'll see that it follows the same format. And I give you, again, it's about three hours long to complete. Probably thinking, why is there a swastika there? It's an ancient Indian symbol, and it means very nice things, nothing bad. Okay, here we go. Um, so that looks what, what part one looks like. 
And at the end of part one, I refer to it as midterm time. And what is midterm time? Midterm time is a time for you to collect all the work that you've done for the first um, four weeks of this term and for you to submit to me all your post work in a nice neat package called a website and your exam scores, which I have access to on Moodle. I just wanted a backup copy and um, feedback responses where if you click on here, you'll see on midterm you have to answer these feedback responses and they're very simple. And so if you click on that, there'll be six questions to answer and to send that to me at the end of part one of the course, which is um, actually in later part of September. Okay, and then you'll send me again the same um, same kind of concept at the end of week eight, which will be part two final material. And there you'll be sending me, um, again, the six feedback questions, your post work, but something different. You'll be adding on there a research project. And the research project, I want you to start it, um, you can start at any time actually, but for sure you have to start right after the midterm time. And so by, you know, late September to make sure you go on that field trip, the course does require a field trip. And um, let me click real quickly into the syllabus and to walk you through that real quick about the research re requirement for this course. So you go to assignments and research and you click on that and you explain to you what the exams are about. Okay, for every two lesson plans, there is a Moodle exam or a Moodle quiz or a Moodle test, whatever you want to call it. So if there's 12 lesson plans, um, there's going to be three objective tests for part one and three objective tests for part two. Okay, so six tests because there's one test per two lesson plans. And there's going to be the post is down here explained to you. But also there's a research component to the course. And the research project is for you, and these are the five things to note about the project, is for you to go explore uh, one of the world religions. And for this term, I'm asking for an Eastern religion. So it's Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism, or Sikhism. And they're very local to your community. If you're living, if you're taking this course from somewhere outside of Mount San Antonio area, Again, I can help you find a location in your local area, but around Mount Sac, they're all over the place. We have locations here. We have um, three of the big ones that students go to is BAPS, which is a Hindu temple in Chino Hills. It's one of the larger Hindu temples really in America, and it's a beautiful marble temple right down the street from Mount Sac, 10 minutes away. We have the Shilai Buddhist Temple in Hacienda Heights, again, a beautiful one, the largest in North America, and again, 10 minutes from Mount Sac. And then the Sikh Gurdwara, um, temple in Walnut, which is again, Mount Sac community. So we have, and I don't, I don't just offer you those three. I give you some other ones. I give you, a lot of students like to go um, to the Lake Shrine so SRF Fellowship in Sunset, on Sunset Boulevard, or some one student went last term to the Malibu Temple. Um, there's other Buddhist temples, and I give you a giant option in Buena Park, and the list continues. So there's a lots and lots of options. I explain the dress code for you. So that link's very important for you. And there's one research project required for the course. A second one would be extra credit. And if you have any questions, that's what the help form is about. Let me click out of this. Okay, one more click. And I think I've presented the course to you. I'm pretty sure I'm done on this. Um, so again, if you have any questions, uh, utilize the help form first. And then um, the email is always an option and the virtual chat would be a third option for you. Okay, and this again is what the course will look like for you if you scroll all the way down, which I've done a few times already, but um, you'll see that the course on Moodle is pretty clear. It walks you through it. The only problem you'll have this with this course is probably getting adjusted to a short-term aspect of it, that it goes a little fast, that there's six hours per week. But then again, you end the course in October and um, the value of that, it frees up your schedule thereafter. Okay, welcome to this class, and I hope it's a wonderful semester for everyone, and thank you very much for listening. Namaste.